my friends, welcome to Prime Strings. I'm Henriette and today we're practicing two by two, which is the second piece in the Stepping Stones book. Now, if you've seen my video of the first performance, the first piece of the book, you've learned a whole load of things that we're going to use again today. So if you haven't already watched my previous video, do have a look at it as well at some point. Okay, when we play two by two, we're going to think even more about those elbow levels that we discussed. And I want you to put the bow down in the middle of the string for, for a start of your lesson today. And I want you to just do this seesaw exercise with me. So my bow is in the middle on any of the strings. It doesn't really matter where. Hopefully you've got, like me, a little sticker in the middle of your bow. I'm going to raise my right elbow and as a result of me raising my elbow my bow will go to the G string and now I'm going to lower my elbow and now you'll find your bow going to the E string. Let's practice that a couple of times. That's a really useful exercise to be doing because eventually I want you to learn to feel where the different string levels are. When you are playing on the G string, when you're playing on the D string, when you're playing on the A string when you're playing on the E string. Let's do a bit more seesawing, shall we? Now this time I want you to make sure that your right shoulder stays in its lowest position. So we can actually move our elbow separately from our shoulders. I don't need to do this, you see. So leave your shoulder down and then bring all your elbow up and down so your bow crosses the strings. Now in two by two, in our piece of today, we're going to start on the A string and we're going to play from the heel of the bow to the middle of the bow on every note. So let's check over our bow hold and I want you to check that your thumb is bent underneath the bow, that you've got a nice gap here and a gap here between your fingers and that your pinky is nice and round. Make sure all your fingers are well over the bow like that so they're not on top. Bring them over a little bit more. Your left hand can hold the violin there and as we've seen before your violin shouldn't be under your chin but you want to slide it to the side and put it nearer your ear. That's it. Very nice. Now keep it fairly flat so that is a bit too high. Holding it like that is a bit too low. Find that nice intermediate position there. Let's get you ready at the heel of the bow on the A string and we're going to play two A's then two D's and off we go with two by two. One and... first performance we were thinking a little bit about the pattern that the notes make and here perhaps you can find a pattern again so let's have a look at all the notes in line one is there a pattern and the answer to that question should be yes it goes a a d d a a d d that's just a repeated pattern isn't it now when we look at line two the second half of line two is also A, A, D, D, so the same pattern as line one. But the first half of line two is A, A, E, E, A, A, D, D. So I think you might even now remember the pattern of by heart. It goes A, A, D, D, A, A, D, D. Now we hit the beginning of line two, A, A, E, E, and then the same pattern from the beginning comes back. A, A, D, D. And as I've said before, in music we tend to look for patterns in the music. So you might want to get used to that, finding the patterns, because it will make your playing a lot easier to do. Let's play the whole song again now, shall we? So we're getting ready with a nice bow hold. We're putting the violin in position. And as I've said, proper violin playing 
has got a lot to do with good preparation. So we're preparing our bow hold. We'll just take a moment to sort out our left hand and to find the correct positioning of the violin. Let's put the bow down on the A string now. And off we go. One, two. focus on leaving the bow down on the string all the time so once you have set the bow onto the string at the beginning of your piece try not to lift it off anymore there's lots of people who play it like this but it's not a good habit to do it like that so practice it with me and leave your bow on the string one two I want you to practice this many many times and these videos are made for you to join in and making your practice easier so put the video on every time you practice and you'll play it a couple of times over and you'll remember all the things that we've been talking about because the aim is that by the end of this week you know this piece from memory so that means you can play it without looking at the music Having the patterns in your head will help you remember it more easily. So go over the patterns every time you play and see if you can remember it. That was great practice today. Super work. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next lesson where we'll talk about snakes and ladders. Goodbye. <laughs>